Crow's my name's too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you own this place? Say, 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 say. Hello everyone, I am so excited for today's vlog. I am going to show you the best hamburgers in Dallas, Texas. I'm gonna to go to three extremely well-known, extremely famous, extremely delicious hamburger places. And I'm gonna show you guys one of my secret runner's tips for how to eat a ton of food but still feel spry and not feel bloated and lethargic. Uh, it isn't some secret weight loss crazy strategy thing like that. It's just a fun way to uh, kind of set up your day so that you can eat a bunch of food and still feel pretty good. Okay, so if you guys are ready, I'm starving. I only ran for like 30 minutes this morning and I haven't had breakfast. I just had coffee. I'm a little behind schedule today. Oh, I haven't even had my coffee yet. Because I'm running behind schedule, I only had time to do an easy 30 minutes. And it's 1.30 in the afternoon, so I'm starving. So without further ado, it is Friday. Without further ado, it is Friday, which of course means... Context for my mom. All right, so food talk. So the place we are going to is on Northwest Highway. Uh, I'm gonna show you a picture of Dallas right here. And it is right here. Hopefully that works, post-production. Uh, this place has been around for a long time, like 50 years. It's one of those classic burger joints. If you come through Dallas, you need to try this. Take my jacket off, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is Keller's. This place has been here for like 50 years. As you can see, it is a drive-in place. My excitement is surpassed only by my hunger. <laughs> The number five or the ses with like the poppy seed bun. Number five special. Sure. Double meat cheeseburger, lettuce, tomato, and special sauce. Sure. Right. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> and here it is. This is the number five special. It's about to begin. I'm getting ruined. My auto is getting ruined by country music. This is a toasted sesame bun, and on the inside there is a special number five sauce. <sighs> that toasted sesame bun, it is... It is so choice. Everybody, say hello to Cass. Yeah! Uh, Cass works here at Keller's. She is sometimes an expat, or she used to be an expat. Guatemala, right? Yeah, I go back and forth, and cool. I have a nonprofit there called Sacred Heart Water. Follow What's the website? You want to tell them? sacredheartwater.org sacredheartwater.org put a link to it right here and then also in the description see us at Keller's yeah so that burger that burger was delicious totally recommend it so it's been about four and a half minutes since I just had that hamburger and I'm hungry again so I'm going to the next burger place this is a, another Dallas uh, well-known uh, classic burger joint. Dallas locals will know this name by heart. It is, of course, Burger House. Can I please have a double-double with -double cheese? Whatever, do you want it? Yeah, please. How's your day going? Pretty good, Jake. Cool, cool. Yeah, pull what do you think of today? We said, like, the local high school teams, field hockey, football, golf. Uh, when I was in high school, when I ran cross country, I was on one of these posters somewhere. But yeah, obviously this is a very local burger place. It's a burger house hamburger. Double double fries. Their fries have a special seasoning and this amazing smell to them. My personal tip. 
take your burger, take these beautiful fries, shove them on there. I think like 80% of the reason people come here is for the fries, so it makes sense to put them on there. That was delicious. Those fries, uh, that seasoning is just so nice. It's like a seasoned salt, but more seasoned. Those are two very well-known, uh, very famous burger places here in Dallas. As you can tell, this is a traditional burger journey. I don't, I don't want one of those like new special burgers where they like shove stuff inside of it and it's like a with no I. Don't, I want a recipe that's been unchanged for 50 years. That's what I'm after today. So that being said, uh, I'm a little full right now. I've been on this burger journey for about two hours. Uh, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna do some work, and then I'm gonna come back to this later tonight. For the third and last stop, I don't know. I'm gonna ask around and see what the recommendations are. Good suggestions, but I didn't believe them, so I came here. For this, poppy seed bun egg, two patties, bacon. This is the Jake's special. It's not pretty anymore, but it is delicious. <sighs> Did you see the size of that burger? Oh, so good. I added the bacon and the eggs because I felt like it's those are three of Dallas's most famous, traditional, classic hamburger places. Keller's on Northwest Highway, Burger House and University Park, and Jake's on Skillman. Classic. That concludes my best hamburgers in Dallas uh, vlog episode. This wasn't a the best burger in Dallas. No, no, no. This was a awesome burgers in Dallas episode. Okay, so until next time. Wait a second, Jake. You didn't tell us your secret runner secret on how to eat all this food and still feel great the whole day. All right, chill, 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 relax. Well, remember this morning when I said I only had 30 minutes for a short run? Well, that was a little bit of a lie. Uh, I only ran for 30 minutes this morning because I planned on running again tonight, right now. As you can see, I'm not walking. So today is officially a doubles day. Uh? So that is the secret runner secret. Uh, sometimes we do doubles. We run in the morning and then we run again at night. So the key with doubles is to do your jog as soon as you wake up. So you wake up and then within like 10 or 15 minutes you're out the door. Make sure you drink some water. Don't worry about really eating anything. Just get out there and shake around. Um, it's gonna be basically like a long warm up. So 20 to 30 minutes, super duper duper slow. Don't worry about your pace. Don't even bring a watch if you don't want to. You just wanna get your legs moving, get the blood flowing. So after that run, stretch for a little bit. Then eat your breakfast, drink your coffee. That's gonna make you feel awesome. So it's gonna get everything moving in here, your digestive system. So that quick run is gonna basically jumpstart your day. You're gonna feel great. Then you can eat whatever you want during the day, and then at night, you run again. At nighttime, your run will actually be usually much better than your first because your muscles will have already kind of been primed and warmed up. They'll already have blood flow in the morning. You'd be surprised how much better that second run 
goes. Honestly, try it out if you want to try a bike. Uh, do something right really quick in the morning so you kind of get your stuff going. And then you can eat all sorts of crazy stuff during the day. And then at night you can go running again. And it feels pretty good. So doubles. Basically you run once in the morning, shorter, and then you run again at night, longer. Come with me if you want to go fast.